congratulations on your win, Sam. We're going to go to our first interviewer, which is Eddie Mercado of Bloody Elbow. Sam, congratulations on your Karate Combat debut. You, you got that one-hitter quitter off. Um, man, we didn't see any Ninja Turtle stuff off the off the pit wall, but how does it feel to finally make the debut? Hey, that Ninja Turtle, it was actually the first thing I thought when they stopped the fight. He's, oh, I didn't get to play with the wall. Oh, I was so disappointed in myself. But it's to come. I, I'm going to fight for Karate Combat again. I'm going to fight Turbo Ross. It's going to happen. And uh, he's going to see some cage action, some wall pit action. Awesome. Well, uh, speaking of Turbo, I mean, how soon do you think you want to get in there with him? Do you want another Karate Combat match first? Or, or you feel like you're ready to go right for that? Or No, I like? would love to compete with him. He, he has the quickest left leg in the business. Like, it is there. And it's, I got to work on that because that's my weak side. <laughs> So I, I'm not calling out the easy guy. I'm not calling out the light guy. I'm calling out the champion. Turbo Ross is a stud. I, he, so he, I, mean, I, I admire what he's done. After I watched my friend Damon Daniels, D Damon. Raymond Daniels. Raymond, I do that constantly. Hey, you were just I, in a fight, my man. <laughs> Damon Ran. Ray. Raymond Daniels. <laughs> I, I watched him fight. I just started, you know, Googling and watching everything. Turbo Ross is a stud. I am, I am so impressed by him. Yeah. Uh, well, tonight you fought uh, Adam Hosa. Do you, uh, was there anything that happened that maybe you weren't expecting, or did it go kind of as you thought it would? Yeah, that rotten son of a gun came out orthodox. He's a southpaw. Yeah. He came out, like, oh, man, it's usually the trick I try to play. Like, I walk out orthodox, and I switch back real quick. He just didn't switch back. He just stayed orthodox. Like, well, damn, I was, I was trained for a southpaw. Yeah, well, what did you make of being in the pit? It's a completely different environment from what you're used to. Um, obviously, you didn't get to use the walls, but what was it like just being inside the pit itself? Yeah, you know, I be, because our hotel is about an hour away. God, they put us up in a nice hotel or a nice resort. We didn't get to see the pit beforehand. So I literally got to slide down the pit. I get to climb back out of the pit. I haven't played with it at all. But watching it, there is not a thing in the world I prefer watching a fight in that pit. And that, that is, I prefer it over cages, prefer it over rings. If there's some way for people to fight on like a sphere, I wouldn't like it. That pit is where it's at. Uh, going back to Turbo, is that, is that a fight that you want at 205? Or? Yeah, he, he mentioned because he's having a hard time finding people, you know, finding suckers willing to fight him. <laughs> I'm a sucker willing to fight him. Uh, so we actually, he, he mentioned going up to 205, not for a title or anything, just to move up there and test the waters. And I'm new to the sport. He is experienced and a stud. I would love the opportunity. Awesome. Uh, so Karate Combat, they got the new four ounce gloves out. Um, did you feel right at home with, the, with that style glove? <laughs> yeah, that's it. I was looking forward to wear, using the padded gloves, but it, <laughs> it's like riding a bike. It came right back to me. Yeah, awesome. Now, what'd you think of the finish? That was a pretty sweet oh, one hitter. Oh, that quitter. lead hook, and then he dropped hard, and I wasn't sure if they were gonna stop. So I'm gonna take a couple more shots, and uh, right in between, boom, boom. I'm glad they stopped it because I felt the first of my two land hard. Well, it was the second of my three, but I felt it land hard. Like it hit him, and then he hit the hit the mat. Saw his eyes go a little little wonky, and um, I, I felt it was a good stoppage. Yeah, absolutely, great stoppage. Um, Yes, you dropped them, right? But you finished them with ground and pound. That's back-to-back -back ground and pound finishes for you. Is this oh. the new age of Sam Alvin? Smile on Sam's back. That was my 21st knockout. That was my 21st combative sports knockout. Yeah. And I'm not stopping with that one. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to fight whoever they put in front of me, and I'm going to knock them all down. I have to get faster. He was faster than I was expected, too. Like, he was throwing kicks and throwing some with, with some oomph. Uh, so I have to get faster. I'm going to be working on that Monday. I'm getting back tomorrow. I'm going to the gym Monday, and I'm getting faster. And the belt, that's the ultimate goal here? Yeah, my wife and I, we've got a competition as to who's going to get the belt first because no contracts have been signed yet, but she's better than I am, and she will be the women's 125-pound champion. We're racing there. Oh, is that is that official? Can we get a confirmation on that? She's not. Oh, look at her flush off screen. <laughs> look at her flush. <laughs> Are you no. sure? Maybe, possibly, sometime? <laughs> no, nothing's official. But uh, <laughs> they... they they were watching her warm up and they can mm -hmm. see she knows what she's done. She actually, I've got an extensive karate background. I started my career with it. She started before my career in karate. Oh, so wow. she's got more karate than I do even. Awesome. And you even saw it out there. I got to play with my, with my uh, ra razor stance a little bit more than I get to it in you know, MMA. So I'm not worried so much about the takedown. Awesome. Uh, one last thing. Uh, what are your plans for the Dominican the rest of your time here? What are you going to go see? 
oh man, uh, well I'm gonna go get some food. Uh, fight day, I usually eat like a late breakfast and that's it. So by the time I'm done fighting, I'm like, oh, give me some cereal. Oh, I love right. me some cereal. <laughs> so I'm gonna go f see what uh, see what I can find at the grub. I've been dying to jump in the pool, and honestly, I haven't touched the ocean yet. I have. I know. I I'm a ginger. I burn. You know, if I go, <laughs> it could be a full moon outside, and I will get a sunburn. It's just the way it works with me. Uh, so I gotta go touch that ocean. Awesome. Well, Sam, congrats on on your victory. Congrats on your debut. Go enjoy it. Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. It's a pleasure, Sam. I, I congratulations again on your win and your three-time knockout bonus. Oh, thank you so right. much. Hey, <laughs> could I also put a shout out for my for, for my YouTube page? I, I've been documenting everything with Karate Combat, everything with the UFC. Shoot, I go back to Bellator and King of the Cage, and I'm documenting everything. I'm putting it all together. My YouTube's at Smile and Sam, and I would love for all of you to check it out and tell me what you want to know because I've got over 80 professional, not professional. I have over 80 fights. I'm like 70 professional. And I've just got a story for everything or a, a way to fix anything in your MMA game. So check me out on YouTube at Smile and Sam and I'd love to, you know, grow it with you. Thanks for watching. I'm Layla. And if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe. I'm here with Sam Elvey and he's going to face Adam Ramos. Oh. Now, how can I make somebody's leg relaxed? There's also tricks for that. You know, you can simply push your opponent. You know, so if I like to kick this, but I want to make it soft, I can push him and then kick at the same time. Because if I do that, again, that muscle is relaxed and it penetrates way deeper in there. So you give me a little tiny push and then he kicks on, an in, on a relaxed calf, which is not a good thing for me. That is, of course, boom, pam. Another one that I liked was my first opponent actually in Japan is throwing a left kick, high kick, planting it and immediately fire forward with a cross. That works really well. So he throws, let's make it a middle kick. Just yes. for now, you know, with the dehydration and the humidity, you don't want to pull the muscle yeah, yeah. by accident. So you're firing, boom, and as soon as I land, I throw it across. So it's a right, right for him, it's a left, left. I go, boom, boom. boom. yes, I plant it back. Boom, plant it back, fire, and then go with the cross. Go with the cross. Boom, back, boom. And now try to, once you land, to right away fire in there. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, puff, yeah, even faster. Land punch. Pow, pow, there we go. Plant it first, oh, pow, there we go. Pow. And our simplicity always works. Add a left hook and a calf kick again. Boom, bum, bum, and there's the kick. Boom, pow, pow, kick. And needless to say, for him now it's a spleen shot. But otherwise, I would like to do this with the liver shot, of course. But he can also attack with the body. So it's a cross, spleen, and then the inside low kick. So he gives the kick. Boom, I block, cross to the head, body shot, and then the calf kick comes from there. Most of the time, when you stand very close to an opponent, they'll never expect a high kick because you're that close. And I have a little trick for that. So most of the time, when you kick, you're stepping in, you're closing the distance, right? Well, in this particular case, for instance, if I were to kick your back leg, yeah, that's okay. But if I turn on my heel, I give myself this more space, I can attack the front leg with still a lot of power. So even when you have to throw a high kick, turning on and very close, you simply turn on your heel because that gives you this much more space and it sets up a high kick better. Yeah. What is the lazy punch that he throws? Did you see anything that you say, oh, I'm gonna let him miss and count? Hey, he, he comes forward real heavy with his big cross. So he'll be self-fired, he'll be orthodox when he throws his cross. Boom, he'll throw it and everything's coming forward with it. He doesn't reset with it. <sighs> you see, crosses to the body are very effective. Inside low kicks are very effective. And in the clinch, uppercuts are very effective. And if you wanna pull the Mike Tyson, ooh. So a Mike Tyson punch will be, you see, I'm loading up. I said, why would you do that? Because I want to show him what I'm going to do. I'm loading up the sponge, boof. I'm loading exactly the same way up, and then the uppercut comes. For now, do the same, left, left, add a right hook, and a calf kick. All right. So load up body, boom. Yeah, go for the body first. Right. So double right. Spleen, load up, uppercut, and then that inside low kick. And look, you go, bow, 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 bow. And this now, since you stand so close, turn on your heel for that inside yes, low kick. Yes, sir. It gives you a little bit more space. Hook to the body, boom, 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 boom. There we go. Don't step back, turn on your heel, because then you hit with this part of the shin, 
I was going to wreck my yes, life. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pow, 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 poof. You see, now he's putting his body weight in there, and you don't need to kick really hard because after he received those punches, trust me, he's not flexing. And again, I say this a thousand times, and even when I say this a thousand times to my students, nobody freaking does it, <laughs> right? Yeah. It's all the time. So uh, that's it, my friend. I think you are uh, going to be just fine. I'm feeling good. I'm yeah. feeling good. Thank you. You're going to watch me do it. You're going to watch me I'm do it. I'm going to be watching and I'm going to talk yeah. to you about it. It's going to be weird because the sound, the audience is so quiet and we're right there. You can, it's almost like I can give you instructions yeah. while I'm commentating. So I'm going to hear it. Kind of weird thing. I had Mirko Krokop come to me after a fight one time, knock somebody out, and he walks over to the commentator and he says, you should shut up. Every time I wanted to do something, you told him what I was going to do. I go, oh, that's a compliment kind of, so <laughs> I'll take it. All right, Sam. Really appreciate it, my friend. Hey, absolutely. Thank you. You're very welcome. We'll see him Saturday fighting. Oh, Thanks for watching. I'm Leila. And if you liked what you just saw, make sure you subscribe.